Howdy folks, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Phone Central, and check it out, we got the Windows Phone 8 emulator. This is the full version, the one that's only out to a secret few people, and it's basically the finalized version. There may be some minute changes, but this is the whole thing. This is the one that hasn't been really seen too much yet on the internet. So anyways, we got it loaded up here, and we figured we'll just give you a quick tour of some of this stuff here. Now, a couple of caveats. Some people have an interesting theory that some of the stuff in this SDK is still locked down, and we're not seeing everything. That could be true. I don't know if that's accurate, but um, in short, there isn't a whole lot of like other things that we haven't seen before. But I figured, you know, we'll go into the ringtones here, and I'll show you what's available. Um, does look like there's custom messages here for sounds, although we'll see what the desktop client will allow later on. And you can see basic settings there. Nothing too exciting. Uh, if we go down to themes, of course, we can see all the different colors. You've already seen these before, though. Uh, I believe there's about um, 20 of them, one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, so there's 20 colors there, including some brown ones, which is kind of interesting. Uh, in case if you're wondering any more uh, backgrounds, no dark light, that's it. So nothing too exciting. If you go to email accounts, um, nothing new here either, though Twitter is uh, still available, which is good. Some people worry about Twitter's been locking down their APIs lately. It's interesting to see how Microsoft will navigate with that. Twitter and Microsoft have had some issues in the past. Uh, anyways, we scroll down here, you got Wi-Fi, lock screen, let's go down to that. So here's your choose your background, um, Bing photo, which is kind of neat. You do the Bing uh, paper, which is kind of nice. Uh, of course, you have the show artist. Uh, notifications, choose an app to show the detailed status. None, calendar, messaging, phone. So depending on which one you want to highlight, that's kind of nice actually, right? So if you choose messaging, presumably on your start screen, it's gonna show the entire message or a good chunk of it, which is kind of neat. So you can give priority to things here. Uh, same with missed phone calls. It could show you who the missed call was uh, from. Down here are the quick status. So these are the little notification icons. You can see there's missed calls, there's messaging. And then we can add other ones, including games. And that's basically it. Now, there aren't too many here, but once again, third-party apps should be able to populate that list. And then you can add them down here. Looks like you can only do five, though. Um, you know. Some people might have an issue with that. There's your typical password, which we can set up, but we won't do that now. We'll back on out. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, there's tap to send. Of course, this is the NFC thing. That's enabled. Cellular location, nothing too different there either. Your basic tools. Uh, battery saver, you can see now it says when turned on, battery's low, 100% battery life. So they put the battery life percentage right here in the list now, which is... A little more convenient than having to dive in. You do have some advanced features for a battery saver when battery's low, now until next charge, which is kind of nice. Here's your backup stuff. So, a lot of people can be really happy with these things. This is your backup list, app list, and settings. So, Internet Explorer favorites, lists of installed apps, and most settings can be backed up to the cloud so you can restore them later. I think a lot of people are going to really, really like that. Um, need to sign with Microsoft account. If I try to do that, it won't allow me to, but that is that option. And you can delete those settings if you want. Uh, that should be real interesting to see how that actually works in real life. Text messages, lots of options here. But you can back those up. And of course, photos. You can upload your photos automatically, good quality. It goes over your regular phone. But the best quality, at least you can upload those now, but you will need to be over for Wi Fi. So um, even if you have unlimited plans, you know, same with video, good quality still needs Wi Fi. And <laughs> best quality definitely needs Wi Fi too. So video uploading over your um, 3G network probably is not going to happen. But that's probably not a bad thing either due to those slow upload speeds. Uh, Go for phone storage, date, time, brightness, keyboard, you know, kind of usual stuff here. Nothing too radical. Uh, oh, I guess I did skim over Kids Corner, right? So Kids Corner is kind of interesting. We've seen this before. Let's see if I can find it again now. There it is. So this is a place where you can put yeah, on your phone, you know, when kids turn on the device, basically they can swipe over to a special isolated area um, 
you can set up apps, videos, music, and games that only they will have access to, so you can block everything else on your phone. So that's a really neat thing for parents. It's going to be pretty huge. I'm not going to go into now because it's kind of a pain to get out of uh, in the emulator. Um, let's see. Not too many things here. You can see the store got the new logo here. That's the same logo that's found in Windows 8 Professional, uh, or Windows 8, all of them, I should say, the desktop OS. Uh, you know, it looks the same right now, although, check it out, it says store, no more marketplace, so that's kind of cool. They finally do update that, obviously, although not too much of a surprise. Uh, we can go to Wallet. Wallet's kind of neat. Collect, store your coupons, credit cards, memberships, and more in one place. Link apps and protect. We can get started. I haven't actually even checked this out yet, so let's see. I'll tap the plus sign to add a new card, credit or debit card, other. So check all these out. Look, Bank of America, Safeway, Delta Miles, AA. These are all already in there. WP8 apps. That's quite cool. Blockbuster, although who uses that anymore. Uh, still nice for the couple of you that have it. ClubGuard, MS Library. I'm not even sure what MS Library is, although that's kind of interesting. Um, Orca, First Tech, so that's kind of nice. In fact, I wonder if we do credit or debit. So you put in first six digits, yada yada. I wonder if I could add a credit card. I won't do it live here for obvious reasons. Uh, let's see, add deal info. Let's find deals. Let's see if this is actually working. Ah, check it out, local deals. Nirvana Indian Cuisine. I don't know where this place is. Ah, I'm based in Redmond, Washington, apparently, so that's where it's pulling these deals from. But this is kind of neat, though. So this is how you're going to find local deals. So assume I'm in Redmond. I haven't updated my location in this emulator. Uh, you can see it pulls down all sorts of deals. This is kind of like a built-in Groupon, except, you know, a little bit more direct. Kind of nice, though. Uh, you can also add deals, which is kind of nice. If you see one yourself, nice little self-reporting. And that looks to be about it. We can do settings and pin. Wallet pen, blah, 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 learn more about wallet. So that's gonna be a great app, I think, for a lot of people, especially with the NFC stuff built in. Um, you know, a lot of future proofing there. Um, scroll around here, you know, music and videos, once again, new on the outside. When you load it, it says music and videos, which is kind of nice. Um, this is like the, if I can scroll over, Xbox Music Pass, so there you go. Just gonna replace the Zoom Pass, obviously. I think it's just a name change. I don't think anything else will change. And then we can go to the Xbox Music Store. Yeah, it's kind of nice. You know, this is the same thing you can find on Windows 8 right now, the desktop, so it looks very similar. Go to Settings. Connect with Xbox Music, Xbox Mild, uh, Cloud Collection. Expands your phone's music selection by including Xbox Music Cloud. That's kind of cool. Only download the new podcast episodes over Wi-Fi. There's your account settings. It goes to your little live thing. That's kind of neat. No really word on, let's see, it's under videos here. If I can, uh, oh, looks like I got, I got no videos. That's not the, the store. Um, the big question, of course, are they going to have a video store? It, probably, but nothing there right now. Internet Explorer, pretty nice. Um, let's see if I still got WP Central listed here. If I have it in open tab, so you'll see under the options here. Uh, it's not highlighted right now, but find on page of course is back. So a lot of people may have about that there. Now it's it only appears obviously when the page fully loads. Favorites, tabs, that kind of thing. So nothing too crazy with this, but it works really well. In fact, we can click on it, see how fast this loads. And I'm getting little notifications on Twitter. Let's see, let's go back here. Anything else? Probably not. We can probably watch the camera. Uh, cancel. So you have that. Of course, you have some of your lenses stuff here. Let's bring up the little list. So that's the new lenses icon. They actually changed that from the earlier emulator, which is kind of interesting. Uh, flash settings, font video, photo settings. So here's your Bing Vision. No more of the lenses are included. And that looks to be about it, to be honest. So if you're looking for some really crazy things, obviously not too exciting. We'll dig around more. If we find some uh, little hidden gems, we'll you know definitely let you guys know. But 
either there's not too much more to Windows Phone 8 than we already know, or the stuff that's in there is locked down, which could be the case. We don't really know yet. So there you go. Head down to Windows Phone Central for more information, and we'll bring it to you. Take care, everybody.